So let's take a look at Screen Master FX Studio inside Premiere Pro FX. Now inside Screen Master FX Studio, you are going to see different categories for different types of screen effects. So we have motion parallax effects, multi-screen, photo slides, screen scale effects, 16 millimeter slides, 8 millimeter slides, photo frame, and split screen effects. First, let's start with something like motion parallax. And I'm just going to increase the thumbnails here. And if we roll over any of these effects, these are going to be really good for photos. And we just want to place our marker where we want the effect to begin. Select the effect, double click. I'm just going to readjust this layer to sit on top of my shot. And now we have some nice little animation happening with this particular photo. Now moving on, let's just take a quick look at photo slides. And we have a shot of our uh, newlywed couple. And we can place this effect on the in point, on the out point, in between different shots. Again, adjust my marker in the timeline where I want the effect to begin. Double click. And you're going to see we have the entire effect as well as photo slide sounds attached to it. And I can just readjust this, place it on my in point of my shot. Or I could take two different shots here. In this case, I'm just going to grab this photo. And you can see I have a little cut point. If I highlight these all, I'm just going to place that parallax effects right above my photo, adjust it. Fast, easy, all the work's done. I'm just gonna take this wedding shot and let's go into something like 16 millimeter slides. I'm gonna adjust my marker and my timeline where I want this animation to begin. And you're gonna see in and out labels. Now your in is what you're gonna to wanna to animate on the beginning of your shot. The out is what you wanna animate at the end of your shot. So in this example, let's just choose a photo slide animate in, double click. Now we can do a different type of slide effect. I'm going to go in the 8 millimeter slide effects. Select an out animation. Just going to readjust this a little bit. And that's it. So again, you can use all these different slide effects on your in and out points or in between shots. Now a quick look at split screen effects. Again, adjust my marker in the timeline where I want the effect to begin. Double click. Now with the split screen effects, what you're going to want to make sure that you do is once you apply a split screen effect, you're going to want to nest the shot along with the split screen effect so that when you nest the shot and the split screen effect, that split screen effect doesn't affect anything else but that particular shot. But now let's take a look at multi-screen kit. Now the multi-screen kit works a little bit different and you're going to have all different multi-screen effects from split screens, three shots, four shots, five shots, six shots, seven shots, eight, up to nine shots. In this case, I'm going to use something simple, like a split screen effect in the multi-screen kit. Place our marker, I'm going to double click. The thing that's different with the multi-screen kit is you're going to have placeholders. So here we have placeholder one and two. In your photo, title, or footage, you want to place inside these placeholders. So I'm going to double click and go inside placeholder number one. So I'm just going to grab a shot, drag and drop it on top of my placeholder. I'm going to go in my effects control panel. I'm going to scale this shot up a little bit. 
Now, if I bring the opacity down, I get a sense of where my footage is going to be cut off. So that's good. I'm going to bring the opacity back up. Double click, go into placeholder number two, grab another shot. drag and drop it above my placeholder to highlight the shot, go into my effects control panel, just gonna scale this up a little bit, readjust the position, just bring the opacity down so I can see where that particular shot sits, bring it back up. So that's all you have to do is just make sure that you place your footage inside the placeholder. And you can just trim this down as I will here. And we're just gonna grab one more as an example. And this is another split screen top and bottom, double click. Once again, you're gonna see I'm gonna get two placeholders because there's two different shots for this effect. Double click, placeholder one. Just gonna drag a shot on top of that. Gonna go in my effects control panel. Just gonna scale the shot out a little bit. Again, bring the opacity down so you can see where it's sitting. Bring it back up. Now I'm gonna go into placeholder number two. Just grab another shot here. Drag and drop above placeholder number two. Gonna scale this out so it fits the screen and just bring the opacity down for a second to make sure it's not cutting off too much. I think for the theme of this, I'm gonna get rid of the Mustang and just place this shot here. Again, scale it out. Multi-screen kit, you're just gonna double click on the screen effect that you want. You're gonna get your placeholders that are gonna sit inside your timeline and you want to place your footage inside those placeholders. And the last note is that with the multi-screen kit, these effects are going to be good for 1080p, 4K, 5K, 8K. If you have sequences that, let's say, are more for social media like Instagram where it's 1080 by 1080, they will scale to fit, but they are not going to surround the entire frame. So that's just a note that these multi-screen kits are more built for television broadcast, but they will scale to fit. So just a note. That is a quick look at Screen Master Effects Studio inside Premiere Pro Effects. Enjoy. Enjoy.